number one. While it's perfectly acceptable to eat a cupcake exactly as it's served, some find it a bit cumbersome to bite right into a mound of frosting. For when you're seated at a table, it's perfectly acceptable to slice it in half horizontally and turn the icing upside down to create a many layer cake cupcake eating experience. Number 2. The takeout containers are meant to be your plates. Break down the containers right around your food and eat with chopsticks. Clean up will be minimal, and isn't that one of the main benefits of doing takeout? Number 3. There are a handful of rules when you're eating sushi and all its accompaniments. First, you can eat it in one bite. Some sushi, nigiri, where a slice of fish is placed on a mound of rice, should be eaten, fish side down, with your fingers, but to use chopsticks for sashimi. Other notes, the pickled ginger doesn't go on top of your sushi. This is meant to be a palate cleanser to eat between bites. Also, if you're a fan of soy sauce, dip your sushi on the fish side, not the rice. Number 4. Some say that mushing peas is far preferable to chasing these little babies around your plate. Etiquette experts say no to that. Instead, use your knife to pile them onto your fork, held tines up, or use the tines of your fork to spear a few peas at a time. Number 5. If it's served on a bun and wrapped in some kind of wrapping, foil or parchment or the like, then eat it whole, with your fingers. If it's served unwrapped but on a bun, you may feel free to slice it in half vertically, but don't feel obligated. Only if it's served without a bun should you eat it with a knife and fork. Number 6. If they're served whole, then feel free to use your fingers, eat up to the stem and discard. If the strawberries are sliced, or served with any sauce or cream, then eat with a fork or spoon.